Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and <laughs> I was actually planning to do this video tomorrow, but there's been uh, <laughs> some kind of breaking news of, uh, reported for tomorrow. <laughs> and if you'd like to hear with a tease of that breaking news, definitely tune into my live stream that's happening at 3 p.m. today, 3 p.m. Pacific, Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, I will put a link up on the top for <laughs> when that is over but today I wanted to go over the uh, opening of Disney Springs what it looks like just like we do with Universal City Walk Hollywood these photos are from WDW and today and as you can see when you enter the parking garage there's a Amelia greeted with a temperature screening sign a frame sign telling you where to go for the temperature screening I see when you're in the parking garage there's only two parking garages open the lime and orange parking garages I believe and so you're going through the temperature screening, or going towards the temperature screening, and then just along the way, there's these warning signs, of course, for COVID-19. Um, and sorry if this uh, this sounds a little blurry. I, I can't even read it myself, but it's basically just warning you about uh, the impacts of COVID-19, saying you can get that here if you by stepping onto this property, you will you're not immune to it. So finally here we get to the temperature screen, screening section, and it's a bit different than Universal's. Universal seemed a little bit more organized with um, like actual queue space set up. Here there's like a couple of, you see some short, narrow tape things on the ground, and a couple of stations. It's not obviously not full at this time, but it, uh, it looks like the same process Universal when you just stick something to your head and those wants to take your time for about five seconds um i still wonder if at the parks they'll use shanghai system which i think is be much better um than to do, do what they're doing for city walk but after the temperature screening you get down and there's more signs saying <laughs> wash your hands wear a mask face masks are required um to go in any stores or to go on the property really <laughs> and especially any restaurants but there's a hand washing station to the left, you can see. It has a paper towel, some soap, and a sink. Just a wa quick wash your hands before you head on to the property. And when we get on to the property itself, this is a chicken guy especially, but I want, just wanted to show you. Again, there's those markings. And instead of Universal's do not stay in here, see on Z. Disney Springs, you're, su you're supposed to stand on those those tapes on the ground, the, you know, those pieces of tapes. See, here's an example right now of guests who are supposed to stand six feet apart, and they're doing it perfectly. Each group is standing on a piece of tape. But it's incredible because the lines are very, like, or at least longer. Is that chicken guy than you'd expect them maybe to be. It shows how eager people will be, are excited to be going to, um, back to Disney Springs. Look at that long line over there. Um, I think this is continuing for Chicken Guy for a different restaurant, but their store. Uh, so I'll go into that atrium over there, which is incredible. It's good to see people coming back. But yes, that is just kind of a quick look at Disney Springs and how it is definitely crowded on the first day. Uh, I wonder how City Box is doing. I'm sure. I'm sure the crowds have increased a little bit. But I haven't had, I haven't seen any more pictures or anything from City Walk since our, since the last update I just, we did, I did with you guys. But yeah, here's a look at Disney Springs. There, as of today, there's like at least like 20 restaurants, I think. 20 restaurants, retail and dining locations that aren't Disney opened, that are Disney owned that are open. And about a week from today, May 27th, we had some of the Disney stuff open, the world of Disney and other Disney uh, Disney stores open and restaurants as well, so they'll have even more of a option to go. <laughs> Again, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel for some really exciting news tomorrow, because tomorrow the Universal Disney and SeaWorld are expected to be going in front of the Economic Advisory Board, which will feature which Mike Pence is in town for that as well, and. They're expected to give, well, they cannot leave, they can't give a, uh, a presentation without the opening dates. If you want to find out more about the opening dates of 
SeaWorld, Universal, and Disney, then definitely subscribe to this channel. I'll have the latest update right away, and we'll, uh, when we'll discuss, we'll break down the dates in general, but what time, this is the time for you guys to comment below, what month do you think will, they're going to open, June, July, and if you can guess a date, that would be incredible too. In fact, if you can guess a date down below, I'll give you a free theme park wizard button. A theme park wizard button. I'll mail you a theme park wizard button, which you can find on my site, theme-park-wizard.square.site. You can find them. Um, there's a link on the, um, on the front of my channel page. But I'll give you guys a button if you can guess the exact date. That you that the parks, either one of them, Sea World, Disney World, or Universal, will reopen. So subscribe, comment below your thoughts, and should be some very exciting times. As always, have a fantastic day.